it's Marin. And I know it's a really crazy, hectic time for all of you right now. It sure is for me. You're busy closing deals, planning for the holidays, heck, even trying to figure out what's going on in our country right now, and in fact, the world, right? But along with that, our industry has a lot going on, and it's imperative that you pay attention to it. And that's where I come in. I hope you will take a few moments today to hear me out on three extremely critical topics. And number one, and this one we really need your help on, the North Carolina Rate Bureau, an unelected group of insurance companies, recently presented a request to our state insurance commissioner, Mike Causey, to increase homeowners insurance rates at an average of 24.5%. In actuality, folks in 86 out of 100 of our counties would see a 25% increase. That's right, property insurance that we all pay for, that our clients pay for, will be 25% more expensive for you and them if this is improved. That's hundreds and thousands of dollars in additional costs for homeowners across the state. This increase was requested during a pandemic when we already know over 90,000 of our homeowners are already delinquent in their mortgage payments. Is this good timing? I think not. Your clients need you. Your industry needs you. We need you to respond to this call for action. Tell Commissioner Causey to oppose insurance increases this year for homeowners. Respond by visiting the link you will see on your screen. Number two, we do not tolerate hate. And I'm gonna repeat that. We do not tolerate hate. Last week, the National Association of Realtors approved changes that apply to the Realtor Code of Ethics to all activities, not just those related to real estate. So what does that mean? Discrimination, harassment, and hate speech towards any of the protected classes under Article 10 of the Code of Ethics will not be tolerated anywhere, anytime on anything, period. And yes, that's effective immediately. Y'all, this is a big deal. This is a huge deal, actually. What we say and do matters. We have to be intentional with our words and our actions. We have to be intentional as we conduct our businesses, as we post on social media, as we interact within people in our community, we must be intentional and practice what we preach. It's time to show everybody who we are. And by the way, guys, you can't take that R off ever anywhere you go. Just remember that. You can read more about NAR's decision in the recent changes to the Code of Ethics at nar.realtor. Please take time to educate yourself. And number three, celebration. We have Thanksgiving right around the corner. We can do this safely, but it's certainly going to look very different this year. I can't hardly believe Thanksgiving is right around the corner next week. And while I know many of you are anxious to reconnect with family and friends, there are just as many of us who cannot see their family and friends this season because of COVID. I will be celebrating at my home with my fiance and our children, zooming in our parents seated at the table, zooming in my brother from London because he can't fly in. Things are very different this year. And those are choices that we've made to keep our parents who are immunocompromised and have health issues safe. So I encourage you all to make sure when you're celebrating next week to do it smartly, to do it safely. And remember, it's our job to keep everyone around us and in our communities healthy and safe. 
So visit the link on your screen for tips and guidance. I certainly hope we're out of this pandemic soon. I think we all do. I'm also cognizant of the fact that that's probably not reality, at least for a while. So I do want to say I miss you. And I hope you're gearing up for a wonderful holiday season, even though it's one that will look like nothing we've ever had before. So until next time, be smart, be safe, and above all, just be good.